Now we're already in 3D space. We're looking at this from a southwest orientation. And what I have here is a couple of circles and a polyline that uh, has a rough shape here, an L shape here. What I want to uh, basically uh, let you know is that you can still use your 2D functions that you're accustomed to. Copy, your move, your offsets. All these tools are available. But one of the things that you need to understand uh, is that you are limited to these 2D functions by the plane that you're working on. In other words, you're going to be working off a two-dimensional plane, and so therefore these 2D functions will be limited to that plane. So the best way is to show you an example. Let's go to Rotate. Rotate is this icon. All right, and again, this icon, you can hit the right mouse button, and you'll see it's a Modify tool. So you can select the Rotate tool. Let's select this circle here as the object we want to rotate. Touch the right mouse button, and we're going to provide the center point as the rotation, as a pivot point. I got my ortho mode on. If I turn off my ortho mode, notice that the circle is rotating along the center, but you notice how it's always going to be planar to this X and Y plane. This is what I'm talking about when I say that 2D functions are going to be limited to a two-dimensional surface or plane. And really, the secret of working with 2D functions in 3D space, in some, in, in some tools, is to be able to rotate the two-dimensional plane that you're working on in 3D space. Another example, uh, we'll end the, the, uh, the rotate command here. We'll just put the rotation right there. Let's try doing a mirror. If we do a mirror and we select this object, hit the right mouse button, says our first point, we'll pick a point somewhere out here. Second point, can you see it coming in? All right, we put our F8, our alpha mode on. Notice that your rotation is basically limited, folding it along two points, but only along the plane that you're uh, working on. So it always will result in planar geometry being generated. All right, and so you have the 3D, you have the 2D mirror, uh, you have the 2D um, rotate command, and the array commands would be another example of that.